Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing another devotion. Well, this is the week of Thanksgiving, and you know that's the week to be thankful for all the Lord has done for us. But it's something how Thanksgiving, we jump right into Christmas. Now, I know some folks have already got Christmas, and then, oh, well, Thanksgiving falls in somewhere. But I think of a couple of years ago, a grandson of ours, Lucas, uh, we had planned a special gift for all the grandchildren and children, and that was to buy them season passes to a, a theme park, Dollywood. And we thought that was one of the greatest gifts. But I remember giving him that gift, and you know, it's a, it's a, it was a gift certificate. It was in an envelope. In other words, it was a piece of paper. I can still remember how he looked. He opened it up. He was expecting at least some money, but instead he got a piece of paper and I remember he walked over to his mother and kind of buried his head into her arm there he was so disappointed because it's a piece of paper he wanted a gift he didn't know it was a gift that would be something for all year long something that he could have a lot of fun with he didn't realize how important that little piece of paper was he had to explain it to him and he was happy then and think about it this piece of paper we call the Bible it's more than just a, a piece of paper, a few words on it. It's promises of what's going to happen. But think, we have so much to be thankful for, don't we? What we already have, but also what is coming our way. We can rejoice in that. In Psalm 40, verse 5, it says this, You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more that can be told. More that can be told. Think about the promises that we have. God is taking care of us today. Be thankful. God is taking care of us tomorrow. Be thankful. Proclaim the promises that he's already given to us and the ones that have come. Well, have a week of giving thanks but also live a life of every day rejoicing in what God is doing and will be doing in our life. Let's pray. Father, today we thank you for all your blessings, but we're thanking you also for the gifts that's going to be coming our way. Not the Christmas gifts, but the gifts of your joy and that we have purpose in our life, that we can proclaim your good news to a lost world. Lord, bless each one today. And Lord, thank you for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, proclaim the promises, but maybe you need to spend some time reading the promises. It's there for you.